Hi everyone, welcome to Discovering Natural. Today I'm pleased to bring you Naturally High, one of our natural hair sisters all the way from Netherlands. Now, she has been natural for a long time and she takes good care of her hair and it does show with the length of hair that she has. But even in a country where natural hair is not popular, she's doing it. So sit back and watch what she has to say. Hello everybody, welcome to this video. This is a collaboration between yours truly and Discovering Natural and I hope you enjoy it. I'm just going to answer a few questions that she's given me. I live in Maastricht in the Netherlands. My big chop was in April 2010 so that makes me five years natural and my last relaxer was in July 2009. My number one challenge when it comes to being natural is most definitely detangling my hair. I am lucky in that detangling's got a lot easier for me and um, there's a video here in which you can see when that breakthrough was made but I will be producing a new video soon showing you my updated detangling routine. It actually takes me about an hour to an hour and a half now and it used to take so much longer I don't even want to say because it's kind of embarrassing people had different reactions a lot of people were a bit negative and they didn't really know what I was doing but I don't really blame them because there was a stage when my afro was growing out and my hair couldn't really go in a bun properly so I'd have like an afro here and then the straight ends going back and it wasn't really a good look um, <laughs> So I, I kind of understand. Uh, people, yeah, they, they didn't really know and they thought that I would change my mind, but I didn't. Then I'm lucky now in that a lot of my friends have been inspired by my journey and they've joined me. So that's wonderful. The more the merrier, right? I wear my hair in various styles, sort of depending on the state of my hair and uh, normally the point in time in the semester. If it's exam time, which it actually isn't right now, but you'll see me wearing styles like this. This is how I mask my knotty hair. Another style I like to do is I like to straighten my hair. Um, so I straighten it with Aveda naturally straight and then I wear it in buns and things until I'm ready to just wash it. That's quite a nice way and easy way to maintain it. I also like to wear sort of big twists, big sort of chunky twists. I think they are quite flattering on most hair types and most faces too. And I don't like plaits. Um, I'll only wear plaits if I want a braid out. By plaits I mean sort of small ones. I don't mind like big ones like Marley plaits. I find my products all over the place so let's start off with Trinidad. In Trinidad I go to Starlight, Superfarm and Body Beautiful. I really like Body Beautiful because they've got a really wide range of organic natural hair products and I believe the prices have dropped as well um, so that's really good. I like, I like to order my stuff online from England um, so I get stuff from Amazon and I get my shea butter normally from England and I also get Aveda products um, which I get sent to me. Definitely think that it's hard to be a natural anywhere or rather it's hard to have afro hair anywhere where it's temperate. If your hair is prone to dryness then this is probably the worst place to live. There are different ways to counteract this. You can moisturise on a daily basis and seal with a heavy oil like castor oil, shea butter. You can do pre-shampoo treatments with coconut oil which I swear by. Um, you can wrap your hair and then put a hat on whenever you go outside, which is something I also do. Um, so it's not that bad, but that's definitely a challenge. I'd say do everything I just mentioned and you'll be fine, um, especially the thing about wearing a scarf or a satin cap and then a hat outside. Saved my life, honestly, I think that's the best thing you can do. And you can find me on my YouTube channel under the name Naturally High or my Facebook page under the same name. And I really look forward to seeing you on my channel and I'm going to produce lots of new content for you this year. So I hope you enjoy. Please give this video a thumbs up and um, leave your comments below and tell me about where you live and what you do with your hair because I'm interested. Thank you so much for watching this series with us. You can also watch Natural Hair in Nigeria and also in South Africa. And don't forget to check out our video from our last vlog. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.